So you own one and you've had it for about three years, I understand. I've had it for three years. I haul about uh, ten to twelve thousand dollars or bales a year. Okay. I figure that uh, I've got it paid for this now at a dollar a bale. I've got it well paid for, so it's it's a great machine. <laughs> it's an absolute must out here. Um, I use it. Uh, I put my son on it last year, and we moved bales. Uh, you know, for other people, we did some custom picking for other people, and you, uh, you know, you can you can really click off some bales. And when you're doing custom picking out here, it's anywhere from three to three fifty a bale to move them to the edge of the field, and uh, or to a, a central location. And it doesn't take long to pay for it at that rate. The boy who was running it last year was 20 years old. He's not experienced at all. Uh, it's the first time he ever ran my tractor or this picker. Mm -hmm. And uh, he would be able to pick, um, you know, when he started, he was picking maybe 30 bales an hour, and he got up to 50, 60 bales an hour um, on a really level and good field, good hay field or a good straw field. I can do 100 an hour with it if I don't have to go too far to dump them. I haven't had an, an ounce of trouble with this machine. Not one one problem. Uh, what size tractor are you using on it? I'm using a Fent, 110 horsepower, 115 horsepower Fent tractor. And I bought this machine because I, I was tired of watching a front end loader, you know, me going out with my front end loader and picking up bales and rolling them or whatever the case may be, stacking them so you can get a semi and pull them. And I'd looked for, I had looked for well over five years to find a machine that didn't have the chains and cables and, and whatnot on the bed. And I, I found this one in a, I saw this in a magazine and I immediately phoned out to Hawkus, so I bought it and I put that hydraulic kit on the back and away we went. You're fairly satisfied with it. I think this thing's the greatest thing since sliced bread. You don't have a um, wet spot on both sides of the bales. It picks it up and sets it down in the exact same position. It goes down the road with a load of 10 on it. You know, I guess the furthest I've gone is probably seven or eight miles with a load of 10 on them. And uh, if you're only moving 100 or 200 bales, you can't, you can't beat it for that. Mm -hmm. But if you want to roll bales and bring trucks in, if, like if you've got all of the hayland we're doing, um, you can just get them off the field so fast. And the same with the straw. I'm going to say the efficiency is a minimum of one full man every time you put a load on. If you're moving bales like we do here, where you know, you'll know you move four or 5,000 bales into a stack yard, you have one person out picking them with a tractor and loading them on the truck. Well, when I pick them, I can pick them probably five, uh, at least five times faster than a tractor with a front end loader on it can. And uh, they can, I can roll them where they can get at it with the truck and they just bring over a tractor, one man, he loads the, the semis and goes comes back and loads another load and goes. Uh, we have a tractor at both ends to unload and one to load and away they go. It's just a very efficient operation this way. Well, it goes to a long way to paying off the machine. I haven't even calculated that into to my figures. Um, but if, you, if, if you're looking at maintenance alone, you're keeping semis from running over fields, you know, trying to load tractors. Um, the maintenance on this particular machine that I have is zero. I mean, I haven't spent a hundred dollars on maintenance on this machine. And you say you bought a rental unit that had a few thousand acres, a few thousand bales on it already. It, it, they, they told me that it had under a thousand bales on it. The fellow who um, I work with all the time, he thought, what a waste of money, until he sat there and watched me pick bales behind two balers, and I'm waiting for the balers all the time.